guys what is up welcome to the first DIY of 2020 and honestly I cannot even believe that I'm saying the first DIY of 2020 and it's about to be March so first of all I'm very sorry for all the delays but some of you may know it has been a crazy start of this year so far so hopefully from now on everything is just gonna be as smooth as possible and then today as you guys realized by the title of this video we're gonna be recreating this viral jeans that I saw on Instagram of course I kind of live on Instagram really but after I saw this denim I was kind of like oh my god this denim is so stunning so obviously the first thing I did was going on the website trying to purchase that and then little did I know it was $300 so I was like mmm not today girl not today <laughs> So anyways, you guys, I decided to recreate this denim and to do it with you today for the amount of, tam -ta -tam, you guessed it, $15 only. So, because I know you guys have waited for so long now for another DIY video, honestly, you all came for me and was like, what's going on with the DIYs? So I do like that you guys are coming for me in this way. <laughs> so without further ado, since I know you guys have waited for so long, let's just move into the video. So obviously for this DIY the most important thing is your denim, ta-da! And then from here you're gonna need a shackle as well, and then a plier, and of course you're also gonna need those eyelets which I bought at Joann's but you can buy it anywhere else. And obviously you're gonna need the kit with that, and then you're gonna need a chain that I found at Home Depot, you're gonna need a hammer, and last thing last you're gonna need some scissors, and there you have it, this is all you're gonna need for this DIY. And then from here, I'm gonna be taking the jeans. Now then again, as I mentioned, you can use any jeans you want, and obviously this one is just one that I have. And then uh, pretty much all I took was some measuring tape just to make sure that it's even in both sides. However, as you can see where the pocket is at, I actually had like a mark with that thread. So I kind of knew that I wanna cut it until then. Now you wanna make sure you, that you don't cut your own pocket. So just open the denim and just make sure that you see that, you know, that middle in between so that you don't cut it. And honestly, this will make it even easier for you to cut the denim. Honestly, it took me a little while, but then again, this is just because I'm super slow when I'm doing the DIYs just to figure out that I'm not doing any mistakes, you know? Now from here, pretty much I took my E6000 glue and as you guys can see, I had those threads coming out. So I wanted to make sure that I have a really nice finish line like a crease. However, I don't have a sewing machine currently, so I had to find another way. And obviously sewing machine isn't like, you know, the most convenient thing ever. So E6000 is definitely it and it was actually really good. And I just, you know, hang it with the clips, as you can see, and I let it dry, and that was pretty much it. So that was like super quick and easy fix. So if you ended up doing that and you don't have a sewing machine, this is just an option for you. While I'm letting the glue dry up, pretty much I'm taking the measuring tape once again, and I'm pretty much just marking the dots where I want the eyelets to be. I kind of feel like this is a really great way to make sure that they're all even and it's flat really nicely on the denim. Once I marked down all the dots, pretty much I just took a scissors. Now, as you can see, those were really tiny, so please try to avoid taking those really because it took me forever to do that and this was really dumb. But you also wanna make sure that the hole is actually not bigger than the eyelet because otherwise you will end up you know it will just not fit to each other and then it's gonna end up being really messy and yeah so this is I guess why I chose the tiny scissors over that so anyways as you can see the eyelid fits perfectly and then now it's time to take um, kind of like the mini hammer that comes in the kit I really don't have you know another description for that but as you can see it's pretty much on the screen and this is pretty easy and then again from here you're just gonna take the hammer and you're pretty much gonna knock it off and that is pretty much it I mean this was so easy and then again I with the hammer by the way you do need a little bit of strength so honestly I kind of use my husband you know for the rest of it you only see two but you know let's give a round of applause to my hubby ZV hi <laughs> and uh, yeah so pretty much this is all I did with the eyelets and also I just want to point out that where the pockets are at I made sure that I catch the pocket as well so that they're not moving around and so that your body still see through 
and so that you know they don't see the pocket versus them seeing your body because this is what the jeans is all about and there you have it after many many years here's the denim and then i'm taking the chain that i found at home depot by the way this was like so cheap i think it was like around 90 cents for like a yard and so you're just gonna end up lacing it up all the way and those are also just like really easy to trim you're just gonna open it up where you need to and by the way for me measuring purposes it's really it's better in my opinion to just have it on your body to measure it for your own you know waistline whatever that is this is pretty much what i did but obviously you don't see it here on camera but as you can see you can definitely see that i took the plier and just like open the chain so that uh, it's not so long and then once I had that, I took the mini shackle, whatever you want to call it. And as I mentioned, those were a dollar, you guys, or maybe maybe two dollar actually at Home Depot. But then again, it's like so inexpensive. So as you can see, you can definitely do this denim in your own home for like honestly less than fifteen dollars. And this is insane. It's like, I mean, look at that. Oh my god, you guys are literally not ready to see this denim. When I first wore it, right now, I was like, oh my god, this is giving me Britney Spears vibe circa 1997, 1998. And I was like, oh my god, I live my best life right now. You guys, take a look. Ah! I'm literally screaming, but oh my god, do you guys see that? This is a Britney Spears moment, a vibe. Yeah, for those of you who wonder, yes, obviously, I mean, I don't wear anything underneath for now, but look at how stunning it is. This is absolutely unreal. As I mentioned earlier, you guys, honestly, I do think that if you do have a higher waisted denim, it's gonna look way better. So if I will have to rate myself right now, I would give me, from one to 10, I would give me nine or maybe nine and a half. <laughs> I don't know, but you can rate me down below here. I mean, I absolutely love them. And guess what? I saved $300 that I can literally use for something else. Maybe, you know, fly to Tulum from LAX to Tulum, you know, for a round trip with flights and hotel and everything is only $300, so might as well. And yes, I know you guys are waiting for the tips on my travel and everything, so make sure you stay tuned for that because I promise, I promise, it's coming, either the next video or the one after that. But anyways, you guys, that is it for today. I do hope that you guys really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below here, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!